for Nottingham Forest, scored by the number eight, May Moncaster. A hard fought win this afternoon, thoughts on the performance? I'm pleased that we've obviously progressed. We knew it was going to be a, a physical battle, and it was. Um, and credit to Boldmere, particularly second half, they come out and, um, and really made life difficult for us. But the main thing is, is um, you know, we've got another three goals, um, created a, an abundance of chances again, um, and we're through to the next round, so that's all we can ask. In the hat for the fourth round, is there anyone in particular you have your eye on? Um, no, not really. You know, we'd just like to draw somebody who we can test ourselves against, who's going to be um, going to be a challenge, and we can see where we are in comparison. Um, a championship side would be obviously nice, um, so we can we can see where we're at. Um, a home draw would be nice as well. Um, but no, like we'd just be looking forward to seeing who we get tomorrow. Nat Johnson on the score sheet again. How pleasing is it to see a contribute at both ends of the field? Yeah, I thought Nat was outstanding today, particularly in the first half. At one point, I think she could have probably come away with a hat trick. Um, and to, to be able to stand here and say that from one of your full backs is, um, is, is credit to, to her and the work that she's doing. So, no, I was really pleased with her performance today. Another composed performance from Molly Green. How pleased have you been with how she's adapted to this new role? Yeah, well, like, you know, Mole's not, um, she's not shy from, from taking on a new challenge. She's played at centre-half before. She did that when she was playing at Coventry, so she knows the role. Um, there's still elements of it that she's she's working on, and we're doing some uh, work with her, and Marcus has been doing the work with her in individuals. Um, but, no, she's she's in there because she's calm and composed on the ball, and I think you're starting to see that now, that partnership between her and Lino to start clicking, and the passes that they can find, both long balls and short balls, um, it helps us to have a variety in our our style of play so I'm really pleased with both of them. Now 3-1 win, thoughts on that game? Uh, yeah I thought at times we were really patient, it wasn't easy in the conditions but um, I think we handled it professionally, scored three, could have got a few more but yeah just happy with the win. It's two goals and two games for you now. How pleasing is it to contribute up front? I'm really chuffed with it. Um, I think I've said before, I don't often score that many goals, um, but I'm enjoying being a little bit further forward and, like you say, contributing um, is always nice. Into the fourth round of the Cup, is there anyone you have your eye on in the next round? Not really. I just love the FA Cup. Um, I hope we get a team that we can test ourselves against, somebody that maybe isn't in our league, someone we wouldn't usually come up against. Um, yeah, to see how, how far we can get, really. It's eight wins from eight at Grange Park. How pleased have you been with the home form? Really pleased. I think that the crowd and the fans that we've got here really help. I think you can tell when we're here we feel comfortable. Um, so, yeah, just hopefully a home draw next round. It's a tight turnaround for yourselves um, with Huddersfield on Thursday night. What are you expecting from that game? Um, another tough game, to be honest. I don't think any game's easy, and I think especially on a Thursday night away at Huddersfield, um, it'll be a test, but I think we've got good squad depth, so like you say, we'll turn it around quickly, but um, hopefully we can build on what we've done today. Thanks, Sam. Thanks.